السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی ور ڈسکسنگ اوسٹیو پروسیس اوسٹیو ملیشیا اینڈ رکٹس اینڈ فار دیٹ آئی ہیو ریکارڈیڈ ٹو آڈیوز آلریڈی اینڈ ان دوز آڈیوز آئی ٹولڈ یو اباؤٹ ڈفرینشیلس اباؤٹ پروکسیمل مایوپیتھی دا ڈفرینشیلس فار دا بوئنگ آف لیگس دا کلینیکل فیچرز آف اوسٹیو پروسیس اوسٹیو ملیشیا اینڈ رکٹس اینڈ سم ادر امپورٹنٹ پوائنٹس ان اسٹیشن فائیو ہاؤ ٹو پروسیڈ Uh, so today and I told you that uh, osteoporosis, osteomalacia and rickets it forms a basis of your knowledge uh, for to give viva for any rheumatological disease and if any if even patient is on steroid then it holds an importance and uh, so just you should have a baseline knowledge uh, so that's why uh, I which I am providing you so Uh, what, today I will dis, uh, tell you what are the differences between osteoporosis and osteomalacia and how to manage it, okay? Uh, in osteoporosis, as before I told you that uh, bone is made up of organic matrix which is called osteoid, okay? And it is mineralized by calcium and phosphate, okay? The, actually, this is a question of physiology. I don't want to uh, tell you about physiology but this little bit physiology is important here that's why I am telling you so okay so bone is made up of osteoid and mineralized by calcium and phosphate right so what happens in osteoporosis in osteoporosis there is decreased bone mass due to loss of osteoid and mineralization right you got understand like in osteoporosis there is defective mineralization as well as loss of osteoid both both losses while in osteomalacia osteoid is preserved but there is defective mineralization of calcium and phosphate right this is a main difference then uh, what is the etiology of osteoporosis in the etiology includes there is increased bone resorption like the increased bone being resorbed increased destruction and low peak bone mass is being formed okay while in osteomalacia why this disease happens because due to deficiency of calcium phosphate or vitamin d okay what are the clinical features of osteoporosis there are no clinical features or there can be backache or shortening of height or sudden fracture right these are the features of osteoporosis while what are the features for the osteomalacia Patients can have proximal myopathy and generalized aches and pains and bone pains, right? How you will diagnose osteoporosis? You will do, we will do DEXA scan, okay? And the T-score we measure and if T-score is less than minus 2.5, then it means this is osteoporosis, okay? And if greater than 2. minus 2.5, then osteopenia and if greater than this, then um, normal. So, and what is the etiology, uh, what is that, how you will diagnose osteomalacia? We will get in the lab, low serum, uh, low serum calcium and phosphate level, and even vitamin D, uh, low vitamin D level, right? So, uh, now what are the causes for osteoporosis and osteomalacia? Uh, first of all, listen for osteomalacia. Uh, for osteomalacia vitamin D deficiency as we all know and vitamin D deficiency could be due to inadequate diet that is dietary defici deficiency or due to inadequate sun exposure or malabsorption okay and in malabsorption all of that inflammatory bowel disease and this um, celiac disease and this all will come which are malabsorption which causes malabsorption okay so these cause vitamin d deficiency remember it why and why it is important to remember because if you get like uh, in the station 2 if you get a history of diarrhea and the cause is celiac disease or ibd inflammatory bowel disease then if patient is complaining of proximal myopathy or generalized aches and pains and he asks you and if this is his concern doctor why I am having this so you should have in mind that it, it is due to osteomalacia due to defective vitamin D deficiency due to vitamin D deficiency okay so please remember it what are the causes for vitamin D deficiency dietary deficiency 
inadequate sun exposure and malabsorption right and renal renal disease that is renal tubular disease so these are the causes for osteomalacia now what are the causes for osteoporosis like uh, uh, one thing i want to tell you with the osteomalacia like when you get in exam proximal myopathy and uh, you have uh, uh, rule out all other causes for proximal myopathy and you are suspecting that your patient is having osteomalacia then you have to rule out the cause for osteomalacia only then you will get the marks good marks okay like in osteomalacia now you know the causes okay like um, uh, you can ask about diet you can ask about any any uh, kidney disease or any bowel disorder so like this it will rule out vitamin d deficiency it becomes important okay in station 2 even and also in station 2 you have time so it it becomes uh, very important there that uh, you, like in proximal myopathy if you have ruled out other diagnosis and you are thinking that it is due to osteomalacia then then in osteomalacia it is due to which cause right is it clear okay so now in osteoporosis what are the causes for osteoporosis there are some many some um occurrences some inclination some like this uh, in osteoporosis the family history is important okay it can runs in the family uh, then with the drugs like steroids it can happen right and then cigarette smoking can cause sedentary lifestyle and tall thin patient are more prone to and uh, then there are some uh, other diseases like osteomalacia thyrotoxicosis hyperparathyroidism multiple myeloma and hypogonadism and some surgeries like oophorectomy or early menopause so then now this i told you all the causes for osteoporosis now you you must be feeling that why this is this is difficult to memorize and difficult to retain don't worry i will tell you one easy way to uh, memorize it and to retain it so that if in a, in the exam if you suspect that uh, your patient is having osteoporosis then you have to rule out the cause for osteoporosis as well and how you will do uh, like in uh, uh, go in the sequence like in the history of presenting illness uh, you will rule about such causes for osteoporosis now if you visualize a man as i always say that start from the top and if we start from the top then what comes first there is um, head then eyes then tongue and from the tongue like osteomalacia dietary deficiency from the tongue we eat so osteomalacia so you will ask about whether there is concomitant osteomalacia is causing osteoporosis then come below there is neck and in the neck there is thyroid gland and parathyroid gland so both of these question you can ask and then come further down multiple myeloma in the bones or in the blood right and uh, hypogonadism if you come further down right then in the past history you will ask about any history of surgery and this you want to ask about any history of oophorectomy right and in the drug history in the me medicine history you will ask about if patient is using steroid then again in the family history you will ask about any family history of uh, such disease then it rules out family history uh, because we know it runs in families then in the social history you will ask about patient sedentary lifestyle okay and uh, also patient diet and cigarette smoking so like this you will rule out all the causes for osteoporosis right now now i, I hope that it will be easy for you to remember and in the Uh, menstrual history you can ask about periods if it is the female right so now i will revise again whatever i told you about uh, osteoporosis causes start from uh, in the history of presenting illness start from above from the tongue osteomalacia in the neck thyroid parathyroid then come down further kidneys or bone or blood whatever all multiple myeloma then come further down hypogonadism right now how to do the course uh, okay i come then in the past history ask about history of surgery like oophorectomy family history ask about family history medicine history ask about steroid and in social history ask about sedentary lifestyle and cigarette smoking and in menstrual history you can ask about 
periods because uh, early menopause is one of the risk factor for development of osteoporosis right so like this uh, now you should know what are the screening questions for all of these diseases and you have to do according to that uh, now this is not station 2 uh, this all ag again in detail I will tell you in station 2 what are the screening questions or what are the uh, uh, pathognomic questions uh, relevant to each disease so that if you do you rule out these diseases okay because in exam no time to think so this was about the clinical features and differences of osteoporosis and osteomalacia please like share and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you